Hello everyone, today uh, I'm going to show you on how to play Bayonetta Origins, Cereza and the Lost Demon into your PC. If you don't have a Nintendo Switch but want to play and try out this game, this is the video tutorial that you need to watch because I'm going to teach you on how to set up, install and optimize your PC in order to run this game. So what you need is that you have to have all these files here that I have in my desktop into your PC and that also you install the latest build of Vujinx Emulator. As of this uh, tutorial, as of recording this video tutorial, the latest build is 1.1671. So as you can see here, I have Bayonetta Origins, or as in The Lost Demon, and I have played it, and it runs perfectly well with no issues at all. So first of all, I'm going to teach you where to get Ryujinx, okay? So open your web browser, and just type in Ryujinx Emulator, and hit search, and then go to Ryujinx.org. That is their official website. Click on that. And go to get started button, click on that. And if you're using Mac, be sure that your Mac OS is in version 11 or later version so that you can install it. And if you are using Linux, then you can download the installer here. And if you're from Windows, just like me, you can download the installer here. Since I have already installed Regions Emulator into my PC, I'm just gonna skip this installation process because the download and installation process for this is really straightforward and is really easy to do. So I'm just gonna skip on this part. So I'm going to assume now that you have already installed Ryujinx Emulator and its latest build. So if this is your first installation, be sure to run Ryujinx Emulator now. So once you run Ryujinx Emulator, you'll be met with certain errors saying that you'll need some certain files installed into your Ryujinx Emulator. So what are those files? Those files are the Nintendo Switch keys and the Nintendo Switch firmware. It should be in version 16 in order for you to play Bayonetta Origins or as in The Lost Demon. And the game should be either in NSP or XCI file format. So, if you're asking me uh, where to get all of these files, uh, the legal way to get all of these files is that you own an Nintendo Switch, you mod it, and install a custom firmware in it. Because if it has a custom firmware in it, it means that you can access your Nintendo Switch system files. And once you have access on those system files, all you have to do is just copy and transfer all of those files, the keys and firmware files, into your PC. And in order to get the Bayonetta Origins as in the last Demon game, uh, the legal way is that you own the game and you have bought it and you can now digitally back it up into an XCI or NSP file format. And in this video tutorial, I have the NSP file format. So if you don't own an Nintendo Switch or if you have a Switch but don't know how to do all the things that I have said, I'm just going to save you the hassle and teach you where to get all of these files. So in order for you to get all of these files, I'm just going to leave a QR code here wherein you can scan it with your QR code reader into your mobile phone and you will be redirected to the page wherein you can get all of these files. So once you are in approms.com, all you have to do is just hover down in the middle part of the website so that you will be able to get the BNI Origins or as in the Lost Demon in NSP file format. And once you have that, then you can hover down into the bottom part of the website so that you'll have uh, the Nintendo Switch keys and the Nintendo Switch firmware into your uh, mobile phone. And then once you have downloaded all these files, just transfer them into your PC via USB cable. So I'm going to assume that you have already downloaded and have all the files that I have here, just the same out here as in my desktop, and that you have it to your PC now. It's time to install them into your Ryujinx emulator. So go to Ryujinx, go to File, go to Open Ryujinx folder, and then go Open the System folder. And then we have to open the first version of the Nintendo Switch firm of keys, which is version 15. Open that. And then all you have to do is just drag and drop or copy and paste these files into this folder. This folder should be empty because this is your first installation, okay? So close the version 15. Now go for version 16. That's why we have two versions because uh, the latest version for version 16 is that the only updated file in it is the production key. So we will just have to copy that and replace the old one with the new one, okay? So once done, close again and close this folder. Now it's time to install the Nintendo Switch firmware. To do this, just go to Tools. Install a firmware, install a firmware from XCI or zip file, click on that, and then locate your firmware file. Here's the firmware version 16, click on it and hit open. And then it will say that it will have to install the firmware and hit yes, and it will say successfully installed. So you will know that it is successfully installed because it will say his system version here is version 16, the same as the firmware. And also, uh, it will show all of your Nintendo Switch games and their uh, game icons. If the game icons are black or blank that means that you're using um outdated firmware so what's the next step now uh the next step now is to optimize your using emulator 
in order for you to play Bayonetta Origins or Ascend the Lost Demon. To do this, just go to Options, go to Settings. And in this part, just pause the video and copy every setting that you see here. So in game directories, this is where you'll put your Switch games and it should be anywhere into your PC as long as you know where they are. And the game should be, again, in XEI or an NSP file format. Now go to input. It's better to use a controller rather than using a mouse and keyboard because that is really hard while playing Switch games. To do this, just go to player one, hit configure, and then your controller will be detected here. So I'm using a Nintendo Switch board controller. Uh, but if you have a PlayStation or Xbox controller, you can also connect them here and just map them up according to your liking. And the dead zone should be in 0.20% so that there will be no drifting in your playthrough. And once done, hit save. Now go to system. And here, just pause the video and copy every setting that you see from here. Now I'm going to go to the graphics tab. And this is the most important part. And a graphics back and multi threading should be on. Graphics back and API should be in Vulkan. The preferred GPU is your dedicated graphics card. So be sure to check on that. And the enhancements is that I enable shader cache and enable macro HLE. Now in the resolution scale, I have chosen um, two times resolution so that the game will look much sharper and much more beautiful than any solution for the Switch. But if your PC cannot handle the emulation, then all you have to do is just change them back into the native resolution for the Switch. But for me, I'm going for two times because my monitor is a 1440p monitor. Now, post-processing effect should be none. Upscale should be in bilinear. And as a trophy filtering, it should be in auto. And aspect ratio should be in 16 by 9. So once done, hit apply and save. Now your Eugene emulator is now fully capable and optimized to run Nintendo Switch games such as Bayonetta Origins, Cereza, and The Lost Demon. So a little bit of disclaimer, I'm gonna show you guys a gameplay or playing the game here in my tutorial because we all know that Nintendo is really strict and they don't want this kind of content to be shown in YouTube or anywhere else in the internet. So if I show you a gameplay of this game running into Ryujinx into my PC, then my channel might be taken down and my videos will be taken down. So to save myself from the hassle, I'm not going to show you guys. But to show you some proof, I'll be willing to show you guys a little bit of boot up of this game into the title screen. But I'm just going to blur the screen out here so that uh, Nintendo will not be able to hit me with any of their copper strike. So I will not be hit with copyright strike. Okay, so I hope you guys do understand on the part. But once I am in the title screen, I'm just going to stop the emulation. Okay, so as you can see here, it's now running. And I'm just going to stop the emulation now. As long as you have followed all the steps that I've shown you in this video tutorial, then you'll be able to play Bayonetta, Origins, Cereza, and The Lost Demon into your PC. So if you have some questions regarding the installation process of this game, just leave a comment in the comment section below and I will try my best to answer all of them. Subscribe to my channel, thank you for watching, and see you next time. Goodbye for now.